Hi, uh, I'm Mike. I'm from Dresden. As I told you before, I was a researcher in factory planning and factory management uh, years ago. I deal with um, um, as business game simulation and production networks. Uh, and uh, my question is, uh, is Germany a country for makerspace or let's say for uh, fab labs? Um, we have seen, as some presentations before, that the fab lab development in the world is quite fast uh, growing, so we have more than 250 in the world, and let's say, it depends how you count, um, 18 in Germany. But um, for me, the question is, what, are the, what is the trend? So uh, if you take a look at uh, Google Trends, then you can see that um, the searches for, this, uh, for the words like makerspace, hackerspace, fab labs are fast and, and increasing, especially during the last, let's say, five years. Uh, actually, Fab Labs was founded in 2001. So the question is how stable and uh, sustainable are these trends? So in what is the trend behind? So which sub-trends might be behind? And I tried to investigate that in a quick that way using Statista.com, which collects many data and surveys. So and um, Let's have a look. Um, the first thing I see is behind is, is uh, doing yourself, using your hands, so producing your own stuff. And uh, I found uh, out um, for Germany one, uh, let's say, uh, data which is not so uh, let's, um, pushing that idea because only 12 million people of 80 million uh, citizens in Germany are interested in do-it-yourself. Uh, most of them have a low, low interest or none interested in that. So well, from that point of view, the doing-yourself is not that heavy trend. The second I would see behind is sharing, sharing things, sharing ideas, sharing uh, tools, whatever. So. Um, I try to find uh, surveys uh, uh, underlying that sharing is increasing an increasing trend. So, but uh, we have a, a, I found a, a, a survey where uh, let's say nearly 50% said they would never share their work tools outside the family. It's in the fourth uh, place. The first thing was car, second pet, and um, yeah, so. So many f people won't, wouldn't share. Another thing is car sharing. Uh, car sharing uh, is quite also uh, increasing fast, and you have a lot of users, as you can see on the slides. And um, the question is, um, still it's increasing, but if you have a look uh, to uh, the numbers compared to the citizen, as you will see here, then it's quite low usage. So uh, the question is, uh, if even if it's still increasing, it's on a, on, a, on, a, on a small level. So the question for me is, uh, is sharing really a sustainable trend in that uh, big way we think here as FabLab thinkers? The third thing I would say is open. Open source, open source hardware, open source software. In the years since uh, Linux uh, started in the 90s. So the, there are many uh, uh, companies using open source software. Uh, Munich uses it in the government. Uh, Arduino, as example for uh, open source hardware, is uh, of open, uh, uh, often around. And if we have a look at Wikipedia as a base for uh, open knowledge or open knowledge sharing, uh, we have increasing uh, contributors to Wikipedia. But even uh, still, the problem is that I think we have more, much more uh, readers than uh, doers who create the stuff. Um, the fourth trend or thing I would see behind is crowd. So you have crowd investment, crowd financing, crowd sourcing. So um, we can take a look at these trends and I try to find some information about that. So let's say we have Kickstarter and other projects and also many, many platforms, fast increasing. And we have, uh, surprising to me, more successful race projects in Europe than in North America on these crowdfunding platforms. Um, and of, uh, we have uh, 1,000 and let's say 200 uh, worldwide. Another thing uh, we have seen also in other presentations here is uh, personal fabrication using 3D printing. So uh, these are the sold pieces uh, five years ago and now. So you can see this is fast increasing, but if you uh, 
have a look at the machinery industry, then you see that it's still on a very uh, low level. Another thing I tried to investigate was learning. So Fab Labs could be seen as a new thing, how to learn, but to, and, uh, to learn by do it yourself. So the fast results like the little guys here. But I only found uh, information about uh, this massive online uh, learning. So um, there was no not successful search in that trend. Another thing is personal fabrication. I tried by myself also, uh, trying to produce maybe an own chess uh, game. But uh, the question is how many people uh, would produce their own or would design, as uh, uh, Jan mentioned. So um, I didn't find any information about that. No, quite uh, bad. Um, Peter Tuxler in another dif uh, dis uh, dis uh, discussion mentioned that uh, Fab Labs could be a new kind of entrepreneurship. So I took these data from entrepreneurs uh, from founding new companies from the US and uh, overlaid it with uh, Google Trends. Hmm, uh, I think it's, it doesn't fit so well. So, okay, it could be due to the crisis. Um, up to that point, uh, we have to say that the, or I have to say that uh, the investigation of trends behind that is not, was not very successful. We have to keep an eye on the wave. It might be a hype on a quite uh, low level right now, but I think it has a, a, a future. And um, actually, there is not so much data available to found uh, to to say it's a sustained trend or not. So thank you.